I could always, always trust on Japan to give me high scores and gore galore. Chase Miyake with the Blue Futon reviewing Remember. This is not RE Dash, it's like a forward slash or backslash. I can't remember. Anyway, Remember. So, what's this about? Pretty simple premise is based on a Japanese manga, same name, where once these kids, six of them, fall asleep, they wake up at the high school and know what they gotta do. They gotta find these body parts and put it in a coffin in the chapel. But they gotta make sure they don't get eaten or killed by Emily or the fucking horrific teddy bear. So, I like this film. I enjoyed it. I won't lie. I'm a sucker for Japanese horror movies when it has a shit ton of gore. And the gore and practical effects here are freaking top notch and fun as shit to watch. So, let's talk about the positives. That is exactly that. I mean, when I say the blood flows, the gore is there, the practical effects are there, it's freaking fantastic. And there are some creepy ass imagery in the show, especially when they find a doll and there's a transformation scene. It's freaking awesome. I mean, when I say it is so good, so creepy, there's, especially there's this one scene where it's like half light and half dark, and you see it eating, and there's like a little eyeball. It was really good to look at, and the practical effects are fantastic. Yes, there are going to be some CGI on this level. Also, with the little girl doing stuff, her face, that's some great, great prosthetic and great makeup effects for this film. Freaking, freaking awesome. And the story goes by super quick. It's only an hour and 40 minute movie. And when I say the pacing is pretty solid, it really is there. Except maybe in the second act, especially when they're not in the high school, it kind of slows down because you have to have that whole magra like, yay, we're friends forever. Let's eat some high ice cream, go to the beach. And when you have those elements of like friendship, which that what the story backstory kind of is, is bullying. And will you be friends with people you really wouldn't be in the real world? When it has that element, I understand what they're trying to do, but it kind of slows down the story, and that's one of my biggest negatives, especially with the story. I think that's what it is. I don't know how long the manga is or how much it takes from it, but I think what the story does, it kind of expects the viewers to know a little bit about it because why were these six kids picked? We really have no clue. What is it with this Russian dialogue in the beginning? No clue, because I was really confused, honestly, because I was like, wait a minute, I thought I was watching a Japanese film, but then the first, like, five minutes was, like, in Russian dialogue, and this random guy is like, it is forever, forever, oh my god, you're just like, what What does that have to do with the actual story? And they do bring in a librarian character, which you're like, okay, I kind of like what they did there, but the overall element of why these six people were chosen, is it a yearly routine, is it just with this high school, why is it that these people are getting sucked in this world and it never really explains it and there's something at the very end where you kind of know where it's going but then you're like please tell me how that connects to the story as a whole and will these will, will these people actually remember now because i don't know because the whole thing's about remember is there, is there, it's all about memory it truly is but as a movie making movie technical aspects i think what i mean to say by that i don't mind the, i don't mind the dialogue don't mind the acting, love the gore, love the practical effects, love the creepiness of it. I have nothing wrong with that. Even though this is based off at night, you're never confused. And I really enjoy that, especially with like with a lot of American movies where you're like, oh, we're going to be at night. We're going to hide a lot of the shit. Here they decide not to do that where it's like, yes, you're going to see the gore. You're going to see the fucked up shit. And you're like, yes, yes, Japan, this is what I come to your cinemas for. So remember, we'll receive. A four out of five of futons he goes at 80%. So see the critics news scores gave this one. So you have critics, it says there's four, but nothing on the tomato meter. And it says no audience score. But let's go to the critics. Three negative and one positive. We got a two out of four, nothing, a two out of five, and a seven out of ten. Man. Sometimes I just need some Japanese gore and it gave me it. So 25%. My 80. Chase Hawk with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. One more thing is Blue Tonto. If you Blue Tonto, thank you for watching. Have a great freaking day. Love every single one of you. Yeah.